1962, the United Kingdom began equipping the Sea Cat short range surface to air missile system. The British Navy intended to replace the Bofors 40mm anti aircraft gun with it, generally considered to be the world's first ship borne point defense missile system. The development process of the Sea Cat was quite unique. In the early 1950s, the United Kingdom and Australia jointly developed the Malkara anti-tank missile, a wire-guided weapon with a maximum range of 4,000 meters. Although its warhead was capable of dealing with most tanks at the time, its flight speed was slow, requiring 28 seconds to cover the 4,000-meter distance. In 1953, designers began to modify the Malkara missile, which later became the Sea Cat. A single Sea Cat missile weighed 68 kilograms, was 1.48 meters long, and had cruciform rear wings with a wingspan of 0.7 meters. The missile also had four small stabilizing fins at the rear of the body. It was powered by a two-stage solid fuel rocket engine and had a maximum flight speed of only 0.8 Mach. Its warhead weighed 18 kilograms and used a proximity fuse. To enhance its lethality, it employed a continuous rod warhead, which placed metal rods around the explosive charge. These metal rods were welded together in a special way, for example, with the tails of A welded to the heads of B, and the heads of B welded to the tails of C, and so on. When the explosive detonated, the metal rods would not immediately break, but would deform and expand into a ring under the explosive shock. When it reached a critical value, it would then break, forming many highly lethal metal rods. This type of warhead had a stronger destructive power than a typical fragmentation warhead and was more suitable for attacking aircraft. The Sea Cat abandoned wire guidance and switched to an optical tracking and radio command guidance mode. It had a tracer on the tail for tracking, and the launcher was in a quad pack configuration. After receiving target information from the combat system, the operator would aim and track the target through optical equipment, while controlling the launcher to rotate to the appropriate firing angle. The operator would continue to observe the target and the missile after launch, making adjustments to the missile's flight trajectory until it hit the target or was lost. The missile's engagement range was between 300 to 5,500 meters, with a maximum engagement altitude of 3,500 meters. The missile's accuracy largely depended on the shooter's level of experience. The Sea Cat could only engage subsonic airborne targets, and had some defense capability against early subsonic anti-ship missiles. However, in an era that pursued supersonic capabilities, the performance of the Sea Cat was unable to cope with various types of threats. The United Kingdom subsequently upgraded radar fire control and other systems, but the improvement in combat capability was not significant. They also developed a land-based three-pack trailer version of the Tiger Cat air defense system, as well as the Hell Cat air-to-surface missile for helicopters. This series of missile systems was relatively successful in the commercial market, with more than 20 countries including Germany, India, and Indonesia, equipping them at different times. Thank you.